So I got one last question for you. Is it for sale? <laughs> that is it for <laughs> sale. Welcome back to Farm Finds. I am on my way to go see a gentleman named Harold and see his old pickup. I don't know much about it, uh, but from what I understand, he's had it for a long time and he's gonna have some stories to tell. Now, the first time I saw this pickup, I was actually taking my kids to church to drop them off for a program. And I looked through a yard into, a, into the alley behind it and I saw this old pickup sitting there and you know this one in particular it, it kind of catches your eye because even though these were super common back in the day they're becoming more and more of an oddity in today's world now the owner's wife answered the door when i knocked and i asked about the pickup and she said well that's her husband's pickup uh, but i would need to talk to their son first and see what he thought about my idea of coming and interviewing them and so we kind of talked back and forth really for a few weeks and then finally they said yep we'd love to do it and so uh, we're we're gonna go have that conversation now yeah, there it is it moves since I first saw it Well, I'm sitting here today with Harold and Steve, and uh, Harold, you're the owner of this pickup, right? Yeah. How long have you had it? Oh my, Steve, do you know? Well, probably since 76 or so, 77. Didn't you, didn't you well, get it as inheritance? Yeah, yes, but... Well, wasn't it earlier than that? Maybe a little bit earlier. Yeah. So mid seventies. And so who who had it before you? Was it your dad's? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Did he? And it wouldn't have been that old then. So did he buy it new? Or do you know? No, he didn't buy it new. Okay. Uh, did, didn't my brother Jake? Wasn't he the one that bought it? Yes, I think so. Do you know where he got it? No, I don't. I think it was at a farm sale. Okay. He got it. Yeah. But yeah, it must have been fairly new. Good. And it's a, I think you said a 71 model, huh? Yes. Yeah. And then it, it looks like it's four wheel drive too? Yes. Yeah. You got to get out and, and <laughs> change the. Yeah. Shift it to four wheel drive. Just like the, the fuel injection spoils us today, so the, you know, the auto, just the push button four wheel drive, it seems like. Yes. Makes it way too easy. People forget about the good old days. Tell me about, you have any, you make any memories in that pickup? Is that, since you've had it in the family for a long time, you probably hold the kids around and. Well, sometimes we would drive down along the river on the ranch. We, and I know all of us were sitting in back that some of my cousins or neighbor kids were sitting in back. Yeah. Which you can't do today, of course. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 We're we're from that generation yeah. where we did we did all kinds of crazy stuff in the back of a pickup. Yeah. Well we'd be bouncing over the rocks and all the you know pasture roads and it was pretty rough. Yeah. But that pickup made it. Good. And do you know what engine it has in it? Is it in there? It's a V8, but... I think it's a 304. The 304? Okay. I know back, back then, I was, I was looking a little bit, and they had their international engines. Uh, 392 was the big one. And then they all, were also putting in engines from AMCs, which is the 304 is actually mm -hmm. an AMC engine from American Motor Company. Okay. I think this one's called the... Is it the Comanche or Super Comanche? I'm not sure. I think they named their engines after... Indian tribes. Okay. So it's kind of cool to yeah. have that name. I yeah. So is it automatic or stick? It's a, it's a stick. It's a stick. On the floor or up on the tree? I, don't, I haven't had a chance to look inside yet. On the floor. On the floor? Yeah. I learned to drive on that pickup. Yeah. Out on the country roads. Um, and 
So if you can drive a stick like that, you can drive about anything. That's true. Yeah, that'll get you all the way up into farm trucks. And yes. <laughs> all of that. But, and, you know, in today's world, the stick shift is an anti-theft device. That's right. Because, you know, a lot of people in the upcoming generations, the younger generations, they have no idea how to drive stick shifts. Yeah. And so, uh, yeah, you, you get less and less of concern about somebody coming and trying to steal it once they see that yeah. four on the floor. <laughs> you have to let the clutch out and synchronize that, otherwise it'll go rough. Yeah. Oh yeah, it starts shaking. Well, you have to coordinate your feet and your hand yeah. when you're shifting. It's a, it's a skill that you acquire. And yeah, I think you never forget it once you learn how to. Yeah, and then you don't have to think about it after a while. It just yeah. all comes natural. And now even, I mean, my, my car is a stick as well. Yeah. And so my hand, when I'm driving an automatic, my hand wants to do something. <laughs> <laughs> I remember one time when we were out in the pasture and we had a pond with a dam. And so we were like um, up above the pond and the, uh, I was supposed to start the pickup. I was probably, I don't know. 12 or 13, something like that, supposed to start it. And it was kind of parked on an incline above that dam and it was wanting to roll back and that sure scared me. <laughs> um, you know, of course you gotta get it started and, and gun the engine so you don't, you know, don't roll backwards. Yeah. Um, but that was kind of a scary moment in that pickup. I imagine. And you're probably on the side where you would have rolled down in the pond rather yeah. than, <laughs> yeah. But you drove it from the panhandle to here, didn't you? Yes. That's a bit of a drive. And the fast? roads probably weren't quite as good. Roughly when would that have been? That Back in the 70s? No. Dad, what year did you move up here? 2002. Oh, okay. Oh, it wasn't that long. And how fast did you drive it then? <laughs> on the highway? <laughs> I, don't, I don't remember. I think it's about 35. Okay, those, those trucks are made to work. They're not made to yeah. run. <laughs> so I was told not to drive it faster than 35. Yeah. Yeah, I suppose it depends on the tires and a lot of things. Yeah, they can be a handful. So you have you hauled a lot of loads in it over the years? Or what's the main use you've had for it since you've had it? Well, I got some... Once or twice I got some manure from and then <laughs> one time south of town here, on the edge of town. And on the ranch, what did you haul in it? I suppose bales of hay. And I thought they had, had it longer than 1971, but I could, we couldn't have had it. Longer than it was <laughs> yeah. manufactured. Yeah. I'm sure you hauled a few sacks of cake in it. I suppose. I think quite a few times we drove out to pick sand plums with it. Yeah. Yeah, we used to go out. There's a a uh, a county park that we go out and. and pick sandhill plums mm -hmm. and make jam and that's a good memory from my childhood yeah that jam is so good yeah did yeah. you ever make pies with it no i don't remember them ever making pies i dad dad actually my dad did a lot of the cooking in our house mm -hmm. and so uh yeah he did he did that he made jam and that's the main thing i remember it's good my mom makes pies and they are so good yeah but they're all they have seeds in them you know so you got to <laughs> That's funny. I don't remember the seeds. So I don't think he would have been able to sort those out, but just not. I mean, jam, you usually take them out because you beat it through a oh, colander. Yeah. And you get all the pulp yeah. the juice out of it. But in the pie, it's full of seeds huh. and stones. So. so you have any other memories? Doing any outings or any any accidents you had or anything like that? Have you ever had an accident with a pickup? No. I remember when you came, you would come to pick me up from junior high in that pickup, and I was very embarrassed by it. Because, <laughs> um, 
you know, I mean, it was probably the oldest vehicle that was around. Yeah. Um, and so dad sometimes would come pick me up after school and I was so embarrassed by the pickup. And <laughs> I asked him to park at least a block away from the school so that nobody would see me get into it. <laughs> but now I'm kind of proud of the pickup. Yeah. Yeah, it's interesting how time changes things. Even, even you know, dads get cool. Yeah. <laughs> Over time, you, you know, sometimes right. we're embarrassed by our parents and then when we get older and they get older and then we find, yeah, they're really, you really get proud of them. So I got one last question for you. Is it for sale? Dad, is it for sale? <laughs> no. <laughs> I, th I think that's the right answer. It's been in the family a long time. Yeah. Yeah. We've had it almost 45 years, maybe close to 50. Yeah. Now it looks like it has a good future with you. You're taking good yeah. care of it. All yeah. right. Well, it was great talking with you. Yeah. Thanks for coming by. Yeah. Thanks for sharing all the stories with me. You're very welcome. Came in. It was in the early 70s.